My success rate, I track everything that I do. Um, I have a spreadsheet. I do it month to month. Um, I track midlines, ultrasound guided IVs. Um, for the last fiscal year, 177 attempts, 170 successes for a 96.05% success rate. So I'm, I'm mad about the 3.95% that I missed. More than a couple of those are my fault. Like I missed something or I didn't advance it right. So, and those are all opportunities to learn. So even if patient was a pain, like what could you have done? So you 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 said you're mad about it. What could you have done to improve the success of that insertion? I could have asked for additional help to hold that arm steady um, because I, I did not, like you were talking about very early on in the podcast, assessing your patient. Are they going to tolerate this well? And that was where I failed to recognize that this patient most likely will not respond well to this. Now, the numbers that I can see, and I looked up like, what is the national average? There aren't like solid data on this, but I saw a couple studies that were like 80%. And I thought that's incredibly low. If you're using ultrasound, it should be way higher than that. So I feel like 96 is acceptable, but I like that we need to aspire for 100%. What, was it a paid, pediatric, a confused patient? Like Yeah, it was, it was, like, it was, a, a, like, it was a dementia patient um, who was combative. That's, they got sent from like a nursing home where they became combative. I think they had like a UTI that was exacerbating their confusion. And so they were not responding well to that. So yeah, that's typically where I fail is in patients like that. The alert and oriented patients, typically do pretty well. Like I prep them for it, but yeah, it's that those six are going to bother me. <laughs> well, now, now you collecting the data has now allowed you to dissect the problem. Mm -hmm. And now you know what the solution is. Now, you know, okay, I've smelled this before. I'm just going to get a holder because I want to get up to a hundred. Yep.